Hey guys, Rino from What's Top Abruzzo, today from my house and uh, today I thought I'd do, to do a different video compared to the usual tours to see how it goes, if you are interested in this sort of content let me know, let me know after um, so this video is about the three which I consider the best reasons why you should consider moving in Abruzzo uh, right now, in 2024. Uh, this video, of course, is uh, accurate uh, today. Uh, might not be in one year or two years. I don't think so. I think it will remain uh, fairly accurate as I see the economic trends that we are uh, observing in Italy and especially in Abruzzo. But who knows? So. Currently, guys, the situation in Italy, uh, the economy has been uh, flat uh, or with a small growth uh, since a lot of years. Uh, Italy has just not been able to reinvent uh, itself, you know, in, in reinvesting. Uh, we are not as, uh, just as sharp as uh, we were before, like uh, it might be lack of foreign investment or uh, bureaucracy, some rigidity. Yeah, we are still not doing bad, you know, in terms of uh, wealth. Uh, it's fine, it's still, uh, you know, we are, we are still a G7 country. Uh, but uh, as I travel, of course, I see other countries that are uh, improving uh, way, way faster than us. So uh, the, this economic, economic stagnation uh, is having an impact on the, on the real estate. So um, that's why I thought to do a video to highlight uh, what, what, what are for me the best reasons and why you should consider investing uh, in, the, in Italy. By the way, of course, as you, if you are a recurring viewer, you know that I do a lot of uh, property videos. I am uh, the person that can help you uh, with agencies uh, in property hunting if you need some help. Uh, let me know, comment or email. I always try to answer to everyone within 24 48 hours guys so uh, gi give me some time but i reply to to everyone so if you're interested in properties in abruzzo uh, please uh, let me know so the houses guys the houses in abruzzo are just cheap and i will put a graph here uh, showing uh, how the prices have dropped uh, uh, over these years as, as you can see they are in a bit of a rising uh, currently you know prices are increasing just slightly but still considerably cheap compared to other regions of Italy not to mention uh, other parts of the world uh, for example if you're watching from the US or Canada or Australia I know the situation is pretty tough uh, over there uh, with the high interest rate and the prices of houses for example in US uh, what happens normally is that uh, house, house prices are inflated uh, and people cannot afford mortga mortgages and uh, the uh, owners uh, of the houses cannot sell the house because either you know the the price that they need to ask is too high and uh, they see you know buyers so this generates also a shortage of uh, of houses and it's uh, like a spiral a continuous spiral so currently the situation not uh, not easy uh, on the other side of the ocean as far as I know. Uh, also, uh, the, the rent prices uh, are, are connected and affected by it. So not the case in Abruzzo. Like you saw on the graph, prices are low and conversely, conversely rents are higher. So if you are planning to purchase an house as an investment, it's a good, a good time to do so. Uh, e either you invest and uh, rent it you know, long term or either you invest and you rent it uh, short term as an Airbnb, you're able to make some profit. Uh, Abruzzo is not like uh, Tuscany or Umbria in terms of tourism, but we get a lot of tourism uh, regardless. Uh, you, can check some, um, you can check some stats and you will see that uh, we have plenty of uh, super nice towns and uh, I know for a fact I have many friends that have uh, Airbnb which are full uh, all year round. We have a lot of natural beauties, uh, mountain sea, uh, rivers, uh, lots of outdoor sports, uh, art cities. So uh, it, it's still a somewhat an unknown region which I encourage uh, to Google and uh, follow my channel and my Instagram if you want, you know, some other angles on it. Uh, so definitely a good investment and um, if you are a cash buyer it's honestly a straightforward process uh, 
uh, when you're interested in any in any property that uh, I show me or other youtubers show so do not worry about it um, so the high interest rate I was saying uh, why those prices have dropped because people in Italy are not actually able to get mortgages from uh, banks uh, we have an um, average GDP you know of around 40k yearly uh, but you know with inflation uh, high prices uh, all around uh, people are just uh, a little bit more tight on expenses so normally in Italy works that you have to do to leave 20% as a down payment and you get the loan for the remaining 80% so this is the uh, how normal people buy houses in Italy so now this is becoming more more difficult and homeowners have dropped the price hoping that people are able to get more mortgages more easily you know or smaller mortgages uh, but again if you are a cash buyer uh, it's it's not a problem uh, you are actually in the best situation another reason why i think abruzzo might be the best place for you is the seven percent uh, tax rate guys as you might probably have googled it uh, if you are researching uh, moving in italy on abruzzo in the south of Italy, you get the 7% uh, rate for taxes. So this is um, uh, an incentive that was made uh, possible by the government uh, in, uh, with the idea to repopulate small towns and uh, disadvantages, uh, disadvantaged area of Italy. As you might know, the north is uh, more uh, economically strong uh, and uh, the southern you go uh, the less uh, the less economic power uh, we have abruzzo is uh, right in the middle of italy geographically but institutionally it is south of italy so you you get to enjoy that sweet uh, seven percent flat rate and uh, of course this is a big topic but generally uh, you have to to be in a town which uh, has less than twenty thousand people plenty uh, plenty of towns here in Italy and uh, you have to here um, uh, to move the residents here uh, there are a couple uh, of requests uh, of requirement uh, but the bottom line is that uh, it's not difficult to access it and especially if you're planning to move so not if you're planning to have an holiday house but if you're planning to move you can benefit from this 7% uh, tax rate and uh, this also apply to other income so if you're moving here but you are still making an income elsewhere i don't know in the states uh, you, you also get uh, only the 7% so which i think it's uh, it's pretty neat and uh, the, of course in italy and especially in abruzzo the third reason is the cost of living uh, guys if you check the prices I don't know there are many comparison websites but uh, for example I when I moved to Ireland and Germany I used the uh, Numbeo uh, which I will uh, yeah will put the link here you can just uh, compare uh, the prices of, of groceries rent prices you know gas prices gas prices will be higher in Italy than the uh, US that's for sure <laughs> but uh, generally generally the um, the cost of living uh, cost of living will be way way uh, lower compared to US and uh, Canada for sure but also other parts of Europe uh, I can promise that so uh, this is uh, something that you need to consider maybe you have a, a steady income you know in the US or you're making a decent amount of money in the US and you will you will like to elevate your living style in Italy elevate economically I mean uh, so you definitely your money can buy more here than it can buy in US yes if I have to make some example you know the the regular days uh, I don't know for example you can have uh, a dine dine outside dinner outside you know with the pizza simple dining outside uh, you know pizza beer and a starter anything from 18 to 25 euros per person which I think it's uh, pretty reasonable then of course you have uh, various categories of restaurant uh, movies uh, movies if, uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, the ticket is uh, between 10 and 14 euros uh, per movie uh, by the way we are having a theater here showing movie uh, movies in English so feel free to uh, to google it it's called uh, Arca multiplex Arca so you will even get uh, the chance to go to, to the movies in English uh, and see movies in English if you don't speak Italian. 
So guys, this was just um, a new format of video. Like, uh, if you uh, would like to me, uh, for me to explore and expand on different, pro um, on different topics, please uh, leave your questions in the comment. Let me know what you want to know. It can be anything uh, from uh, groceries, restaurants, uh, recipes, uh, I don't know, anything, uh, I, might, I might be uh, able to give you an angle on it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and see you on the next video.